Hey guys, this is Jethro2002, and welcome back to another awesome episode of Vanished, using the Mega Mod and Colonial Charter 1.7. We are back in our little town of Redwater, which is actually becoming a bigger town at this point. Let's see, we did in the last episode get this accomplished, the Colonial Hall. So in other words, we can actually see things and stuff. So we have a lot of stats in there. Something we should have gotten done a long time ago. Probably um, a while ago, actually. Probably weeks ago at this point. And there is this courthouse over here we're going to have built. And awesome. Yeah, finally. Actually, it looks pretty awesome right here. I can't wait till we can actually get the road in here. However, it is late autumn, so the snows have fallen. And it's going to be white as hell. And we are not going to be able to put anybody in here to work. Because I have noted that we have absolutely no laborers. And also, thank you to B. Baron. Or B. -B Baron. I don't know how to say your name. But we have no laborers. And a stone cutter did die. And we are going to be going over here and check that out. I think we have enough stone cutters to keep it going for the moment. So we have one out of two in here that I've set. And we have nobody in here. Okay. See? Yeah, okay. That's going to be a problem. So, I am thinking, uh, we might just have to wait for that for the moment. We do have a pretty good stockpile of stone, as you can see. What is that, 706 in the whole town? I think we're alright. In fact, we don't even have anybody to work at the butcher, either. So, really, we are just waiting for laborers. Wait a second. Oh, wait! We do! Okay. I'm actually going to sacrifice a few. It is now late autumn. As you can see, all the crops have been harvested. So what we're going to do is take these two laborers for the moment. Since these ten farmers are going to be working as laborers during the winter season. We're going to put one in here to work in the stone cutter. And one in the butcher. We're not going to put one in the courthouse at the moment. Because that's not going to be necessary. We don't need one in there yet. What we do need to get done is all the building over here. So the meeting house is actually starting to get built. The builders are working on that, but really, I want them to start working on the housing over here. It does look like, oh, uh, okay, we do actually have homewares. That's good. That's probably why this stuff's getting built. And we do need enough building supplies. Now, I don't think... You know what? Let's go back. Let's go to the city hall, colonial hall it is. And we're going to see about building supplies. Inventory, inventory. Okay, let's... I think it goes out. We have zero. Alright, so pretty much we're going to be waiting for a couple more building supplies before that gets done. And it looks like... It looks like 18 lumber bricks. So we're just waiting on bricks. I would think it'd probably be more efficient if we have somebody else making more bricks in here. Hmm. Because... Yeah. That's going to be a slightly slow process at the moment. If we want to get these fancy homes done, we are going to have to need building supplies. Now, it doesn't look like... We got homework supplies in this, but we don't have anything for this row. And these are going to be the townhomes. We're going to see how they look first. Yeah, I'm going to see how one looks, and then two, and then three. It, once a few are built, we're going to see whether or not we're actually going to be finishing them off, or demolishing and replacing them, and getting that, those supplies back. Um, yeah. We want to make this area look good, and I really want to have this little city hall area. And possibly having a city hall over here. And possibly having a town market over here. So, I'm guessing while we're getting that, and while we're waiting for... Oh, God. Here we go. Farmer has died of old age. No labor is replaced. To, okay. So, uh, one of our fishermen has died. Ah, oh, crap. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to have that many fishermen. Ooh, this is this is kind of, a, kind of a pain in the butt, isn't it? So, we might actually have to wait for these children to start becoming students and the students become day, day laborers I, I guess yes they will become day laborers as as it is i'm calling them that for now on <laughs> we do have this row of extra homes on this side but i'm not quite sure if that's going to really do anything about it now maybe we can fit another little cottage home or something else in here i'm not sure if we have the room for it though it doesn't look like we do not in this area hmm so what we're going to do is focus on probably... See, this is not... Okay, I was going to put some extra homes over here. Oh, I don't want to get too far out there just in case. 
I wanted to put some extra homes around here and all, but that's going to take up some space from the foresters over here, which are already we're already encroaching in, so we might have to replace that eventually. But that is not quite the biggest priority. Oh god, a miner has died now too. Yeah, this is this is not looking good at all. People are dying off. <laughs> we're dropping like flies over here. <laughs> Why? <laughs> We can't do anything about it right now. We kind of need everybody in their place. So I'm hoping by the end of winter, this will actually get kind of accomplished. And hopefully these will get accomplished now. Ooh, okay. Oh, we have the meeting house. Let's check this out for a second. Oh, that also gives you stats. I never knew that. That actually works just like a city hall. All right, so it's not quite brick. But you know what? It still goes with the colonial style we're trying to go with. So I guess we could just... What can we work on while we're waiting? There's not really too much we can work on. We do need the laborers, so not sure what to do. Maybe we could put a bridge over here. And we have the covered bridge. I'm thinking, do we want a covered bridge? Or do we want to get the stone bridge? Now, also thanks to Candy64, if I'm actually saying it right, we can actually put the stone bridge. Where is it? Where is that one bridge? Railroad bridge. No, that's not it at all. Oh, okay. Here it is. The stone bridge. Now this is the center, so we can do this. And supposedly, supposedly, oh that's not gonna work there, is it? We can, we can pretty much. We don't have to make it three wide. I mean, it would be awesome to have it three wide, but we could actually use these little split rails over here, and we could actually put the railings on the side. So if we flip this and rotate it like that, I think it would actually work. So, I, I'm going to let that middle piece get built here first. And then we can actually see what we can do with it. But supposedly we don't need it three wide. Um, I would honestly see what it looks like first. And see if there's actually... I don't know if these railings... Are there any other railings? You say you could do that. But I'm not quite sure if it's really going to work out quite the way I want it to. Well, we will only find out. Only time will tell. And as usual, we have deer chilling in the middle of our town. As usual. The, the people are working hard. They are bringing resources over here. And uh, let's check over here. Ooh. The officer townhouse is beginning to get built. We have the two builders actually working on something. And we do have the two laborers. So you know what? Hmm. <laughs> we did have a miner in here. So maybe I'll just keep it as one miner at the moment keep that labor and we won't focus too much on the iron because we already have plenty of iron for the moment not really a necessity is it um, the pretty much the prior Ooh, you know what actually this is getting built real quick let's see if I can actually zoom in here we got some trees in the way but that that's all right we, we can deal with it actually looking pretty good let's speed this up a bit so much for that we have a trader over here let's find out what you got what can you provide us trade pigs uh, I, I'm thinking maybe we should have some trade animals eventually, but see, we're going to need a pasture for that. I don't want... That. By the time we get a pasture even built, these pigs will probably die. So I'm going to say dismiss. We can always get some trade animals a little bit later. Eventually, we are going to need something to trade with specifically instead of my lumber and iron. And last one, we did check out the different types, but I want to see if this actually does match. And so far... I do like the actual brick here. It, it seems to go very well over here. Ooh. Uh, wait, did the, wait, did the snow just melt and then come back? See, if I was able to have the weather on, I would actually see the snow falling, but... We don't see the snow falling, so we kind of just have to deal with it. It's a very cold early spring. 29. Ooh, I wonder how that's going to affect the crops this season. It doesn't look like anybody's going back to their farms quite yet. No, they're not. So, gonna go back. Mm. Well, we will see how that works out. I mean, the foliage is starting to become green again. It is spring, right? And it looks like the snows are melting again. Alright, okay. Let's check this out for a bit. This is the officer's townhouse. Let's get this out of my way. And I do like it. I do quite like it. It's... It's a little hard to see right here just because of the angle and how I want it to actually go on this along this back road here. But I think we might actually have something here. 
In fact, that's actually good because that's going to give one more house and that's going to that's going to make them a little happy and make them too happy they might actually start breeding. So, baby making in the process. All right. Well, we, let's check back on how many laborers. We still have two. That's interesting. So, I guess we're just going to wait for them to get that done. We have this bridge over here that's going to get done. So, we wait on that. And it looks like just a bunch of waiting as usual. As usual. Always some waiting. Okay. I just saw something. Another stone cutter has died of old age. And nobody... Oh, no. Okay. The person has replaced it. Okay. Alright. Well, that, never mind. I can actually rest in that one. But we only have one laborer now running around doing things. We really need to get some more housing in. We really do. What I'm thinking about is we're going to use start building this whole area over here. And I'm beginning to think that we can actually start building these townhomes around and not have to worry too much. So we could probably put one little back road over here. Like, let's say if we put a key road here, right along that, make it kind of like a, a, well, whatever, like a little alleyway. Um, actually, I can't even see where that road's at. Hmm, interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay, we could do this. Wait, what the heck is that? What? What? Do I have to flatten that? Okay, maybe we do. Let's try to see if we can put that, that road back in. Oh, okay, it was pretty much... That was the only issue there. We could put this here. Put the road up to there. See, but it's going to have to be, be too thick. So maybe we put one like that. Like that. And we put one... I guess there. Oh, this is this is actually quite interesting here. Can we put one there? Because this is going to be too wide right here. So that will do. I guess we'll just leave that there for the moment. We'll find out how that works. Um, I know this is going to be quite a lot for one laborer to get done. However, I need to get this figured out. And this is something. This is one, two, three, four... Four. So it's four. If I can get the little view in here, somehow get past the damn trees. One, two, three, four. And then we put a key road here. So we can have another set of row homes over there, too. Put this all the way across. Somehow. Somehow put this all the way across. I don't even know how this is going to work. Okay, I did find it. The, the, the key road's right here. So that'll work there. We have that one there. We could put this one over here. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much just me talking about roads at this point, isn't it? All right, well, anyway, this stuff needs to get done. Otherwise, we can't get the the market in. I'm thinking we could actually put a market in here and get it over with. So let's, let's go back and find out what kind of market we could put in there. We do need a town market in here, and I believe I want to use something that's actually going to be useful. So where, where are we going to go? Where are we going to trade buildings? No, we don't need any trade buildings. Storage barns? Mm -mm, no. Not going to use them. Market buildings. Here we go. We have a myriad of market buildings over here. Uh, we have a market puzzle. Ooh. Okay. What are these? I don't think I've actually seen these. Okay. So we have the tools. Okay. We have textiles. Oh, I see what they are. Wood fuel. So we can make like a whole little marketplace just out of these. Protein stall. Ugh. A regular food market stall. Okay. And a general goods stall. Hmm. But I was actually wanting a... Okay, this is the medieval building set. We need something that's going to match. So we did have the old town market. And that is over here. We have one over here. But I'm actually thinking, would this actually match over here? This way, we could do this. Put that in the middle. This way, there's a road going in between. Huh. You know what? We're going to do it. We are going to put one right there. We are going to put the key road around it. And in between it. This way, everything matches fine and perfectly. Let's see. We do have one, two, three, four. 
And then we have hmm, edit like this. Oh, okay. So we could do this. Put that around. Guess, guess, guess. It's all about guessing here. Okay, so that there. So we're going to put one there. We're going to put one around here. So one, two. That one we already have. And then we're going to put one there. This way we have a two wide around. One going in between. And we should have one that goes all the way in between. Somewhere like that. Okay. This way we actually have a market building in the middle. And I believe that's going to be starting to service all of these people here. So once we get these row homes in, we can actually start getting a market in there too. Now, we are going to need a church and a school over here also. So I'm wondering if maybe we should just... It's going to be quite a lot for them to build though. But we are waiting for some building supplies and homeware suppliers for these. And that's going to take some time. So let's make sure they get something actually done around here. So let's go back to the civic area. Let's find ourselves a nice, nice worship area. Look, give these people some faith over here. Something that's going to match the brick. But I think there are brick ones in here. We got the small chapel. Okay, I'm going to have to go over to water or something for this. Okay, so we have this. Okay, I, I might actually have to go over here to figure this out. The chapel is actually pretty nice. I like that. It looks like this would go really well. So let's keep that in mind. We have an old church. Not really going to go well with this theme, but I do like it. We got the mini chapel, village chapel. No, no, no. Ah, yes, this church. I do like this one, though, but it's not going to match the theme. Okay, so we do have the central church. I remember using these a long time ago. And they do come in different colors and, and styles there. We got the brick. This is possible. It's possible. Hmm. I wonder if we could just... Put that somewhere. Do we want it here or do we want it there? Well, one's going to have the schoolhouse and one's going to have the church. But I'm thinking, since we're going to have some homes and stuff here, have the church centrally located somewhere around there. So let's see what else we have. We have a colonial chapel. Okay, so that's a small one. We've got a small town one. We have the cemeteries. Oh, you know what? We are going to have to put a cemetery in. So I'm thinking maybe we could just put the church on this side with the cemetery over here. And we'll focus on the other city buildings on that side then. I like the medieval cathedral. But it don't work here! <laughs> oh man. I didn't think about this before. Okay, see these are cemeteries again. This is a village cemetery. That's an abbey, which we don't need right now. And a monastery. So where is that chapel here? Okay, so we have different versions of this chapel then. That chapel, that one. Hmm. Now, we could put this one. Not quite sure how many people it's going to hold. But, let's see. It kind of does go with the theme, with the little domes at the top. With the bell. And then there was that other one. The central church. But we have that. This one does come in the brick style. Like that. It comes with a darker brick. And I'm thinking I might actually put this in. We can put this right here. And give our people some faith on this side. Uh, without faith, people are nothing. Man, I actually thought maybe we could probably put this here. But since I put that market there already. It might look a little strange. But I'm thinking we need. I would like something that's going to, it's going to have to go somewhere it fits. So you know what? Let's just place it here. Judge me as you will. We're going to put the brick one right there. And it's only 20 logs, 80 stone, and 170 lumber. We have plenty of that. So they will get that done. And eventually, some, sometime, that will happen. One of these damn days. And I see a trader, and I see another one floating along the river. Hooray. What do you have? Ducks. Oh, duck you. We don't need ducks right now. It's not a priority. It really is not. Not at all. Okay. We, do we have to speed this up? So we can get you. Do I have to follow you back? Yes, yes, yes I do, okay. Back. Trade horse, okay. See, we're not doing any trade animals right now, although it would be nice. I mean, for the love of God, we don't even have these key roads actually done. <laughs> we don't even have enough laborers for that yet. We need to focus on this stuff. <laughs> we need them so badly. 
I do love this little officer townhouse, though. That just looks so good there. Okay, so we do have the church, and I'm going to put the cemetery in once that's done, because I can't see a damn thing right now. And we're going to put a school right here. So let's go back to the town services. Let's go back to, let's see, health and healing, school buildings. All right, we have the mini school. We're going to go back to this crap again and try to figure this out. Let's see, we have the colonial school. Isn't there something a little bit bigger? The medieval school will not match. A college. I quite like that. It, it doesn't really match, though. Although, I like the idea. Small town school. Yeah, no. Nordic school. But we don't need that. Okay. We have a library. We have a medieval library. Made of monument. Gale Tower. Hmm. Interesting. Now, do we have anything in here? We have the one-room schoolhouse in here. Might work a little bit better. Town arrival. Medieval town hall. What's this? We have the original schoolhouse. And let's see the rest of it. There are no schools. That's pretty much it. Uh, let's see in here. Let's see if there's anything. Medieval. Medieval archaeology. Hmm. We might have to just... Not the medieval school. It just seems so damn small. For all of this. I, honestly, I would want the college, but that's not going to match at all, is it? So we might actually have to go back over here to the civic buildings. The Zebo schoolhouse, one room schoolhouse, town arrival, mini town hall, town blah 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 blah. All right, it, it kind of looks like we're going to be putting this one room schoolhouse in there. Man, I got to see if there's actually anything I can download. Because if there's better schools, I got to go find them. Because I would like to replace this. So I might just keep this little area a little bit more clear. Just in case I find something else on the Steam Workshop. Because there that that is about the closest thing that's going to be matching. If it, it even matches. Oh, for the love of God. Dysentery again? Really, people? The hell's wrong with y'all? Ragged. You probably don't even have clothes, really. Well, one person has dysentery. Wonderful. Great. Well, it looks like people are getting sick already. That's just wonderful. You know, we're going to go over here. We are just waiting for everyone to get this finished, people. And we are going to check this. We still have one laborer. So it means that... Oh, we have one. Let me zoom that. Speed that up a tiny little bit more. Good God. Yeah, so that... This pretty much does it for this episode, you guys. We are going to be building these row homes over here. And eventually, we're going to be putting those fancy little gable houses around in between on some side streets. But closer in the city, we'll be making row homes and stuff, making it all match. Once we get this church done, we'll put a cemetery in there. We'll have a market right there. The schoolhouse that kind of, sort of doesn't match, but does. And what are, what's going on with this little bridge? It's getting there. Well, that's okay. Well, we will find that out in the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying what we're doing so far. Redwater is slowly getting there, and apparently every so often we have dysentery. Not very good water quality around here, i got to say. Not at all. And we do have some supply issues here, and that's probably because things are not being done. What's going on over here? Production limit has been reached. Has it? Okay, well, maybe we'll change the production limit for a second. And we will do that. We will change it to 4,500. And you know what? We'll put the 5,000 for the moment. And we'll see what that does. Because that charcoal is going to be necessary. Because we use that to make furnace fuel. Not quite the best thing in the world to run out of that, is it? And people are dying of old age. Maybe that's why the health is so crap. That, we don't have enough clothes. Because if we look over here, let's go to overview. Oh, okay, 70% is actually clothed. Wonderful. Are actually, we're, we're doing pretty well right there. And we are making clothes out of leather, so we're making the hide coats. Good, good, good. We have a butcher over here. Let's double check that before we go. Oh, okay, wonderful. All right, okay. 
Well, that does it for this episode, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Our town of Redwater is becoming a city, slowly, slowly, waiting for some supplies so we can get things done, and waiting for laborers and people who pretty much breed, which means we need more housing. It's it's quite a cycle of life, isn't it? We need more building supplies, too. <laughs> All right. If you guys did enjoy this episode, please hit that like button below. And if you want to see some more, feel free to subscribe. Always more coming. Always. Well, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. And as always, peace.